And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. All right, to get us started now, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Patty the Patty Pimla! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Bobby King Green! Ready to fight. Ready. Good. All right, Bobby King Green ready to go for round one. Going to be very interesting to see how he attacks this particular challenge here tonight. At times, Bobby Green has gotten off to a slow start. At other times, he's come out guns blazing. How will Bobby Green start tonight? The right hand just misses. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. That's a strike, and now throwing offense, countering with the hook. Nice job by Green. Goes right back to that left kick and lands. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. A little clinch fighting now as the BJJ fighter is able to get inside and close the distance. Did a really good job of getting close, getting in tight. That will allow him to start to try to get the takedowns. But there is still some danger in here because boxers are very good at creating space even though you're in the clinch with him. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Two minutes have expired off the round one clock here. Forth we go. Oh, nice pop there from the crowd as he finally gets the takedown. He stayed committed to the offensive wrestling, and now he has his opponent where he is. A sigh of relief from the people watching. Darce choke is tip here. That Darce is tight. Darce choke locked in. It's only a matter of time, but he cannot rush. He's got to control his opponent so that he doesn't lose him in the scramble. The sheer will is, is really remarkable to watch. Oh, how about that? He gives up on the submission. Look pretty tight to me. Beautiful transition. He flattened him out. This could be trouble. Got a good body position, yup. Posture's up now and lands a devastating strike to the head. Nice transition. All right, side control now. Trying to guard pass here. Not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transitions. Now inside the closed guard. And he's gonna try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Well, not a guy you want on top of you. Ground and pound strikes piling up here. Good work by Patty Pen. Round two is next. Excellent job last round. Really like your ground control. This round, you want to do the exact same thing. Let's start this off with a big take. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. You ready to fight? Ready. Go All right, round two. No good. Well, at this point, he's really got to think about mixing things up, change levels a little bit, try to slow your opponent down by working the body. At this point, he's really been a headhunter. Got to mix things up in modern-day mixed martial arts. Oh, and that kick is blocked. Oh! Back and forth we go. These two guys. 
guys are trading huge shots. Oh, starting to open up a little bit. Oh, the Superman punch lands. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Take it for a ride. Nice double leg. Nice finish. Pimblet's in half court. Well, he's on his back, but he's moving his head on the ground pretty well defensively. And Dizzy as he looks to improve position here. Stay tight. Stay tight. Grab the hands. Grab the hands. He's got to start throwing now. Pretty good work with the ground. Oh! Killing it on the ground, another strike gets through. Oh, now he's attacking arm triangle. Oh, that arm triangle's wicked tight. He's starting to get it in very deep. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. Oh, big punches landing here. We'll see if he can work back to his feet. Now drops inside that close guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how nice he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pop. Twenty seconds left to go in round two. Final seconds. And the horn sounds on round two. All right, there's the horn, and what a round it was for him, DC. And look at him walking back to that corner. He's feeling himself a little bit. Oh, he's feeling himself. And look at his coaches. They're all celebrating because they know that if they stay the course, if they do the exact same thing, they may be able to find the finish this time. All right, so a huge round for him there. That head kick probably would have had me out for good. The guy survives to see another round. Yeah, but he'll go back to that. It landed so perfectly. He set it up great. He did a great job of mixing up the target early, going up high, and getting the desired result. You ready to fight? Ready. And we are back for our third and final round. Big right hand. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Oh, huge left. Big right hand. Pimblett gets tattooed by that straight punch. Both guys appear to land there. Oh, good block there. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bear's watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. Three minutes now to go in this one. Well, he put so much stock into this fight, and now we're late in the game, and if he doesn't get a finish, this opportunity goes by the board. I mean, it's always over. Right now, he's got to start throwing everything he can find at his opponent and hope that he can force a mistake and overwhelm his opponent to try to get a finish. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body start, starting to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack. Not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now and it's starting to show itself. Oh, nice.
Nice job to block the kick. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault, and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful. Oh, power strike there. He could be in trouble. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He doesn't know if he's in the outcast or the promise on the Thanksgiving. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Knock him out. The fight's done. All right, so he's landed a few semi uppercuts already, DC. You gotta think he goes back to it. I am almost certain he's gonna go. And DC would appear to be in real trouble. Oh! So that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. All right, let's look back at some of the action, DC. They go the distance tonight, but you got to think he won over the judges with his striking acumen tonight. Yeah, you got to watch one of the best strikers in the entire UFC. He did everything so well, and in my opinion, he should cruise to a very easy decision. Official decision now in. The buff has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges for the contest, 29-28, 30-27, 29-28, declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Patty!